Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are doing well. In the previous part, we've added a progress bar countdown timer to our game. However, up to this point, the only way to restart the game is by reloading the page. So, today, in this final part of our Arrow Swipe game series, we'll add this restart game button with the corresponding functionality. This will be a quick one since it is as simple as adding a button, styling it a bit and defining its functionality upon a click event. So let's go! Ok, in the HTML file let's define the restart game button element. It will be a button with ID restart game button its content will be a font awesome icon and let's get the icon restart not the one I was looking for let's try for refresh I think that's the one nice and let's copy this part paste it in our document and that's all with the HTML part let's see what we've created up to this point here we are this is the button and now let's style it with CSS For starters, let's position the button so it will be absolutely positioned relative to the document body or in other words the browser viewport and that's because its only ancestor, the game container besides the body, is not a positioned element or in other words it is a static element. So now for example in order to position the button to the top right corner of the body we would set the top and right properties to zero. And by the way these properties specify offsets from the edges of the elements containing block, in this case the body. So now if we save we can see the button positioned to the top right corner. Ok, for now let's set top and right to 20 pixels and we'll come back later to calibrate as soon as we have the final size for the button. Ok, let's continue and let's set the font size to 16 pixels. the background color to this light grey, it's the same light grey as the progress bar color to white and let's give it some padding so that it's more visible padding top and bottom 8 pixels, left and right 10 pixels what else, uh, we don't need any border so let's set border to none border radius 5 pixels and let's set the cursor to pointer instead of default We don't want the outline, so let's set the outline to none. And I think we are done. Let's place the button a bit higher, so let's say top 10 pixels. Nice, or, or even a bit higher, let's say 
6 pixels nice now let's change the background color on hover nice and let's also change the background color on click or in other words when the button is active and let's make it a bit darker actually black okay and instead of instant transition let's set a transition duration for the background color and let's set it to 0.2 seconds transition property is a background color okay we are done and let's just make sure it also looks fine in smaller screens okay we are almost there just a couple of modifications we'll change these three properties and we'll set the font size to 14 pixels and top and right to 8 pixels okay we now have a nice little button which however is practically useless so let's add the intended functionality to the button which is to restart the game using JavaScript for starters let's store the restart game button element object into a variable for easier access next we will add an event listener for a click event over the restart game button so whenever restart game button is clicked the restart game function will be called and let's define the function here and we want the restart game function to reset the progress bar interval reset the score remove the arrow element and generate a new one reactivate swipe related event listeners and reset swipe coordinates so that we are ready for a fresh start let's start by resetting the progress bar interval for this purpose the clear interval method should be called notice here that if the restart game button is clicked after time is up then clear interval is called here so it wouldn't be necessary however if button is clicked while game is in progress then this is necessary so now if we save and test it works and now let's reset the width and restart the progress bar interval so we set the progress bar width numerator back to game duration in milliseconds and also reset progress bar interval and let's save and test okay works fine however if we restart the game 
after time is up, we will notice that progress bar momentarily has a red color before it turns into green. And let me show you what I mean. So in order to avoid this from happening, we could reset the color back to green as soon as time is up. And by the way, this is happening due to the transition duration over the background color. So as soon as time is up, progress bar element will have a green background color. And width will be 0%. We don't need template literals. Nice, let's save and test. Okay, I will click the start game button now. Looks fine. Now let's reset the score. This is simple score equals zero and score element dot text content is score. Let's save and test. Works fine. Now let's remove the current arrow element and generate a new one. So let's first access the arrow element. And by the way, a lot of copying and pasting here. And that's because we are just resetting things here that we are already set before. So we want to remove it. And then generate the next arrow. Okay, let's save and test. Seems to be working fine each time we restart the game. Current arrow is removed and the next arrow is generated. Nice, however, I noticed something here. Each time we restart the game, the progress bar countdown is getting faster and faster. So something is wrong here. Uh, let's open the console and see if we get any errors. Okay, assignment to constant variable. I think the problem is that when the progress bar interval was defined, I used the const keyword. I should rather use the let keyword. So let's save and test. Indeed, we don't get any errors and seems to be working as expected. Now, problem is that as soon as time is up, we won't be able to play the game anymore, even if we restart the game. And that's because event listeners were removed. So let's add them back in. Here we are. And finally, Let's reset the swipe coordinates. And I think we are done. Let's save and test, hopefully, for the last time. We don't get any errors. And as soon as time is up, we can't play anymore. But if we restart the game, everything seems to be working smoothly. Excellent. And that concludes the Arrow Swipe game series. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it and got some value out of it. For any questions, suggestions or just to say hi, please use the comment section below. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you want more. Till next time, keep coding, keep improving and enjoy the journey. Take care. Bye.